everyone, time to grind here, and today we are checking out yet another Peglin update. Um, this time it added a, a couple new poison relics for the round row. We've been asking and wondering where the poison relics were, um, and so there's some new poison relics specifically only for round row. I guess though, obviously they could be found on Peglin. I don't think they've split the relics yet, but there's also just a bunch of SFX and uh, just bug fixes, and um, you know uh, they also changed poison from Belushin uh, to spin faction. So a lot of changes here. Uh, but we're gonna just uh, play as Roundra. I know we played as Roundra last time, but definitely want to try to find some of the new uh, poison relics. There's allegedly a new rare orb or just a new orb in general that I think is for round drill. Not 100% sure, so we'll see if we see something here. A um, lot of good options here. Um, Eye of Turtles, really. I'm gonna go Eye of Turtle because I really want to find these new poison relics. So even though we did kind of a poison build last time, but it was also kind of like an Orboros poison build. Uh, this time, with the help of hopefully some new poison relics that we're maybe going to be able to find, um, hopefully we'll be able to, uh, you know, find find some uh, fun stuff there. Also, if you missed it, last episode, we finally got to fight uh, the uh, dragon um, caves boss, and that was kind of um, litty titty um, because, uh, it, oh, that was awful, because uh, it had been a little bit. It had been quite a while, you know, since we had, uh, you know, fought um, or um, had been trying to fight the dragon, right? And so it's pretty hyped that we were able to uh, to do that uh, last episode. So now if we fight the dragon, it'll be fun, right? Just because we have, we've only fought the dragon once, but it's not like I'm, uh, you know, going to cry if we don't end up, uh, you know, fighting, um, you know, stuff like that. So, um, but also some, some other notable things from the patch notes. Um, they nerfed the slime mini boss a little bit, their health. Okay, also already finding poison here. So we're going to buy applying spinfection. We're going to be doubling spinfection here as well. So like I said, that was one of the changes. It's no longer called uh, Belushin. It's now spinfection, which is definitely a lot better. Um, it does a little bit confusing because you have all of this spinesse with the crit damage, and so it kind of, you, you have two things that say spin, but, uh, you know, is what it is, right? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and remove a stone here, just try to make our deck as, um, you know, um, uh, lean as possible here. Um, but some of the other, other changes, um, Oh, okay. Do okay. We're gonna duplicate the doubling poison thing. Okay, so we're off, off the bat, pretty at least good on poison orbs, right? Um, let's see here. Every oh orb and relic battle reward. I was like, why? Why do I still only have this thing here? So every reload grants two mercicals. So maybe we try not to really focus on crit damage, even though we do have the dag orb here. Um, but I'm trying to think of some of the other noticeable um, uh, changes, right? Um, I think they changed one of the caves shade boss a little bit or made it scale better um, They a lot of just graphics improvements and bug fixes that were probably pretty needed I would imagine um, this poison is gonna be totally pointless here um, He only had three health and then this doubling does nothing. I'm just trying to gather as much money as we can We got things we want to uh, to upgrade and and all that kind of good stuff um, but oh Cauldron bubble, there's my favorite. I'm not gonna go ahead and get a spinfectious sting. Oh, they named oh they renamed Double Double is still that. Spinfectious Sting, they did rename that. Cauldron Bubble is still named the same. Cauldron Bubble, like I said, one of my favorite AoE um you know, orbs in the entire game now, and uh, definitely um, my favorite poison. Besides maybe the doubling poison, right? It's 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 very important, you know, for that. Um does is not good when um both of the doubles uh, sh show at the very, very beginning, right? Um, doubling uh, zero is uh, still zero, right? Um, as some of you guys may know. Uh, but the, yeah, they also added UI um, to tell you how to unlock uh, the two new classes if you haven't unlocked them, right? Um, not in the form of an achievement kind of guide list thing, uh, which is kind of what I was hoping they were doing, but at the very least it's there because, I mean, if you look at the, the Steam community guides and, I mean, YouTube comments, nobody knew how to unlock, we didn't know how to unlock the, uh, the new characters, um, until, uh, you know, we had people in our community kind of let us know how it, how it worked, right? Um, oh man. Once again, we got the double-double at the beginning, but, uh, it was enough somehow oh because they had the poison oh never mind <laughs> any amount of damage including zero would have been an appropriate amount of damage here um but yeah so definitely a lot of improvements glad to see new uh, orbs and relics um exacerbate see i just <sighs> i don't know 
I really don't know. Because, like, you would think it would be good in a poison debuff build. But it just, it doesn't, because it applies after the round Reliquence, that was also another thing I was maybe hoping would get changed. It just doesn't, I don't know. It's not, it doesn't feel great for me. Unless you're somehow doing, like, a multiple debuff type of build. You know what I mean? Um, okay, so we're fighting the good old Minotaur here. I think poison's poison's very good against elites and um, you know bosses in general, right? Doubling poison's quite useless outside of high HP enemies. Well, that's kind of just poison in general. Um, besides things like cauldron bubble and, and stuff like that, most of the time poison is going to just be very very strong. I was hoping to get that refresh. Very very strong for elites and bosses here. Uh, we did get a um, nice. We're gonna double the three to six. Um, but is is very very good for elites and uh, bosses. That's kind of where it shines. So I don't know why I felt the need to hit everything when it's gonna do zero damage. But either way, five to ten. He's got a lot of poison on him. Um, I think honestly I'm gonna go for this crit because if we do enough damage, nah. If we had done a little bit more, obviously we could have. Uh, there we go. He's dead. <laughs> He's dead. Um, okay, so I'm going to just upgrade Cauldron Bubble. Like I keep saying, favorite uh, definite orb there. I'm going to save my money here. Oh, oh yeah. There were a couple uh, nerfs here. And Brassicae Knuckles was one of them. Now it's every three times the board is refresh gain a mercicle. Wasn't it every... Was it every two or every one? I don't know. That got nerfed pretty bad. Um, and I, still, they still haven't uh, kind of uh, sorted the, the relics here. We're going to definitely just take... Um, I don't know. I don't know. We could... It was every one. Yeah, that that that's definitely a hard nerf, but it needed it. Um, I don't know. We may actually take this and just because we have the dumbbell. I really do want light shaft potion, but I don't know. That commits us to a doing a crit stuff. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take the nerf to broccoli. Right. I think that's that's an okay thing to do here. Uh, they also buffed chip once again. Um, they made one of the point five slots not deal damage to you. <laughs> Uh, whenever the boards refresh, deal damage. Okay, deal damage. Yeah, to them. And then uh, we're gonna take the uh, shop. Hopefully, find one of these new poison relics. Probably not going to. That's okay. Um, we will probably, in this case, just offer the bad cheese round guard. Heal six when reloading. I'm kind of tempted on that one though, but I also want to remove something. I'm gonna take the heal six when reloading. Um, trying to have a kind of a lean deck here. We're not going to take many more poison relics. Honestly, we've got our orbs. We've kind of gotten all the things that we're looking for, right? Um, nothing too, too crazy here. Get some stretches. Um, but yeah, so far doing pretty good. I mean, we're kind of in a lower crucible level. It would be kind of dumb if we were to lose real early on. We may still lose, you know, when we get to castle or when we get to, um, you know... Uh, caves, obviously, depending on certain fights and stuff like that. And I'm going to just take my time here. Just try to get as much gold as possible. They're not really posing a threat here to me. Uh, I will still go... At, uh, this is going to end this a lot quicker, but... I do want to... I mean, Spinfection 3 to just all enemies, no questions asked, uh, is, uh, is very, very fun, right? And we're going to... I'm going to double the poison here on someone that actually matters, right? Doubling 2 to 4. Ends up killing Slime Boy there. And uh, we're going to be happy. We're going to go ahead and upgrade. Um, yeah, we'll go and do Spinfectious Sting. Just get a little bit more poison here. And if I go to the right, it's not the end of the world. So I'm going to go for some of this gold. We got one gold. Let's go. Um, oh, there's a decent amount of gold here. Um, but yeah, I think I think kind of doing a, uh, you know, a merciful refresh poison build. It's kind of good all around, right? We have consistent damage somewhat. Um, you know, with the, uh, the, the non-crit damage stuff, uh, and, um, you know, poison is then just going to be very there for us for certain bosses and, uh, elites, right? Uh, say we fight the wall, right? The wall is super optimal because, of course, poison can somehow <laughs> infect the wall, right? Um, ooh! Ooh, they made Echorb look sexy! That's new! I guess that was part of the SFX improvements or, you know, well, that's sound effects. VFX, I don't know. But they definitely made Echorb look really, really nice. I like Echorb. Um, I don't think we're going to take it, even though I think it could be okay, because I am focusing a little bit more on the um, the poison side of things than the non-crit side of things. Uh, but that is a sexy looking orb right there. Um, I thought it was like a new orb or something at first, honestly, because it... Oh! Oh, this is the new board. This is the new board for the slime boss here. So we are getting to experience this. This looks like a lot more fun. 
I will say that. Do you guys remember when when the um, the Minotaur boss or many uh, whatever got changed? Because it was really boring to uh, and hard, right? And now it's 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 still a hard fight, but it's a fun fight. That almost is maybe what they're trying to do here. Because the slime mini boss board was not the most fun to play on. This seems this seems kind of cool. This I'm not gonna lie. This seems pretty pretty cool. You got three the three bombs. Still kind of hard to um, access here in the middle. Um, but I like that a lot. I like that a lot. We're gonna double uh, spin faction to two to four here. It did kind of look like a mon monkey. I hate that new board. It looks way harder. I don't know. I don't know. It seems like if you get it in the middle here, like you're gonna get a lot more guaranteed orbs. There's a lot more orbs here in the middle because in the in the last orb, there were so many places where I don't know. You just would get nothing, but you get that in the middle there. It's I think it's I think it's gonna be pretty nice here. Um, don't think I need to heal. We'll just. Go ahead and, uh, yeah, I guess upgrade these. All it does is give us more damage here. Whenever an enemy is defeated, refresh the board. That's definitely what we want. As much as I want Prime Rod of Frost, that's definitely what we want with the broccoli. That's going to give us a lot more refreshes here uh, to, um, you know, to, to build up our damage and, and whatnot, right? The bombs are way too protected. I would argue the bombs were pretty protected in the last... Oh, I hate this. Both double-doubles did not mean to take a screenshot. Um, I also should have... I was gonna go for those refreshes and then I remembered all the comments that crap on me for refresh fishing But I should refresh fish here because we have broccoli so uh, But yeah playing playing on that mini boss felt very good. I like honestly like that a lot more than the than the last one. I Think that's an improvement personally so just getting all this poison going. Oh man, yeah, dude. Po poison just shreds bosses and elites. It really does. I really hope that we can. Um, and then we're gonna double it. I really hope that um, we get some of these new poison relics and stuff like that. And there we go. I. Oh man, I want another cauldron bubble, but I want to keep our deck really lean, so I'm not going to. Oh man, but that could be good. No, I, I lied. I'm, we're going to the castle. Kind of want to focus on that a little bit, right? Um, I wish we had gotten something that would have uh, taken away a crit. Um. So I think we could do defresh potion because of the simple a kinetic meteorite would be cool too, um, but we're gonna be trying to add a lot of refreshes. I think it's okay. I don't know. Losing a refresh feels okay because we do have um, refresh of whatever an enemy is defeated. Refresh the board, right? But that is one less refresh for us to hit with the knuckles. But that's a big damage DPS kinetic meteorite. Yeah, I think we do that because kinetic meteorite. Uh, gets penalized the more refreshes we have so yeah and now i'm glad that we definitely take cauldron bubble considering i mean either way we would have been fine because uh, you know wall would have crumbled down to poison here you know so i'm not like too too worried but yeah definitely want to keep removing more of our orbs and stuff like that just try to make our deck uh, as small as it can because, you know, especially with well done steak being pretty much the only form of actually, yeah, the only form of healing uh, that we have. Um, I'm going to very much, um, you know, be looking to discard as often as I possibly can. And that worked out pretty well. Got a lot of bombs there. We're able to do this here. Um, is this the new orb? Go for the icer coal? Go for the Icer Cult. Some of these names, I feel like by making like everything need to be a pun. Because that's supposed to be go for the jugular, right? Is that what the is that what the pun supposed to be based off of? So regular attack pierces one. I can't tell if this is new or not. I think this is the new one. Regular attack pierces one enemy and a critical hit pierces through enemies. Pierces, so it has it has a little bit of piercing. If you crit, it pierces through multiple. And the orb also pierces the first peg. And it applies blind too. So it's literally like a modified icicle. Yeah, icicle with blindness. That's interesting. I'm not going to take it. I'll save that for, you know, showcasing when we're doing a crit build. Um, But that's interesting. It's interesting. Uh... It, it's very much just... Oh, also, I did not want to go to the right there. But I guess I dug out the... I don't think that was... 
Yeah. Uh, round guard. Um, it's interesting. Very, very similar. But, you know, we do need more... Um, we do need more status effect things, I think. Um, up, no, 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 not upgrade all stones. Let's definitely remove a stone. Love that event. Uh, navigation on this event's a little bit harder. I'm gonna try to go to the right here. Don't think it, uh, it might happen. And then I hope this is a combat so we can buy something. If we can't, we can still remove something. Okay, let's go ahead and give up uh, the dag orb. Love to see that. So, you know what? This isn't too bad. I hope, uh, are we gonna get offered a relic? Oh, we did get offered one of the new relics. <laughs> No, that's one of the new relics. Grubby gloves, attack supply, spin faction uh, two to enemies. So we're not able to afford that, unfortunately. But we are able to make our deck very, very small here. Um, and uh, that's pretty good with the deck that we're trying to do here, right? Uh, it's sad that we... But we, hey, we got to say hello to one of the new, uh, new relics here. Um, okay, so just double in five to ten. Yeah, the defresh potion, you know, effectively somewhat doubling our damage of just like the raw damage stuff. And I'm going to just go straight for the doubling here versus just applying three more. Yeah, getting that. So now he's what, taking 200. We just took 200 there. Now he's going to take 220. And we'll do this. And then doubling. Oh my gosh. Yeah, having all these double, 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 doubles, right? Quite nice, 400 damage there. Let's freaking go. And that's why, yeah, po poison, I mean, is just cracked on elites and stuff like that. Um, it's like, I almost wonder if I should, nah, cause we're not gonna hit that other shop. So we'll continue upgrading. Hey, okay, we, we got one, we got one. Uh, choke mod, so there's a new bomb relic. Bombs apply spin faction one when damaging enemies. I think that's one of the common ones. But hey, we at least got to see one of the new poison relics, at least, right? I mean, we technically saw two. We only got one of them, though. Um, but that's uh, that's pretty hype, right? Um, so not going to be... Cr uh, I mean, that's effectively, what, plus 10 damage to every enemy. But in a poison build, it's going to be so much more because we have the potential uh, to, uh, you know, do combos with that and stuff like that. Um, so if we, if we get any more bomb relics, that's nice that there's kind of like a bomb poison type thing, right? very very much enjoy that because yeah we were we were wondering from the last update like the last major update like where the crap were all the relics right where were all the new poison relics and here they are just you know two two three weeks delayed which is fine they're here now um and just upgrade double double so everything is max upgraded here except our stone which we are not looking to do anything with here Wanting to go to the left, let's do, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And then we're gonna go two chests on the right, I think, is, is the uh, is the general game plan here. But yeah, just bombs apply, you know, because effectively there's a lot of those common relics that are like, oh, bombs apply 10 damage, right? That's effectively what this is, but it has the potential. Oh my gosh. It has the potential to be so much more um, because of uh, obviously, you know, if you're mixing it with other poison, it doesn't, I guess it still becomes 10 more damage. It's still just 10 damage. But you're obviously raising the stack, you know, so for long-term fights, it ends up, you know, being more. Um, that's three chests on the right. I will go ahead and heal. I hate to do it. Um, but if that uh, question mark is not a combat... Uh, then we're going to not be super, super happy. Whenever a crit's triggered, deal your orbs crit damage to enemies. Not great here, but we'll take it out of the relic pool. Why not? Show me the last relic for a while. S S choke mod. It's just bombs apply spin faction one when damaging enemies. Um, wall bounces contribute to damage. Unless you were talking about the freaking Criticris. Whenever a crit's tr triggered, deal your orbs crit damage to all enemies. This is the Peglin Chef. Oh my gosh, we're going to get four relics in a row. We're going to rat out the Peglin Chef to get an elite fight here. Um, very much happy to rat out our friend here. Because also we have um, orb and relic battle rewards, right? So an elite is a relic battle reward, right? The only thing you really have to worry about poison is obviously the fact that... Okay, so that, that's actually going to be entirely pointless. This entire... Or is going to be pointless. Um, a little bit. Um, I 
don't even know what I was going to say. Oh, oh. Because I was playing uh, Slay the Spire, right? A lot uh, on my vacation recently. And, um... I, I mainly just play the silent, you know. Um, my favorite. And the poison in Slay the Spire obviously applies before they attack. But in this game, it's obviously happening um, after they attack, you know. Why is it red on the damage part of the additional effects? I think that's just like trying to highlight. I don't. Yeah, I think just like Rafilibuster says the same thing. I don't know. Maybe just like when it's talking about doing damage to enemies. I'm just trying to highlight. You know, there's a lot of text there. Hey. Um. So I'll just heal, even though I don't really need to. Um, and every 30 hit is converted into a bomb, which is interesting. You can just kind of soft lock yourself a little bit. Uh, refresh activates nearby pegs when hit. The problem is we only have one of them. That is really, really, really good. But I'm going to take Powder Collector. I'm going to try to utilize the uh, Choke Mod a little bit uh, here because uh, it will be applying poison and stuff like that. So, red's the damage color. Uh, reduce self damage by orbs by 50%. So, kind of all of those last relics we got for the most part, pointless. I mean, ambiguous amulets, whatever. Criticris, awful for us. Power Collector's pretty decent. And then Gardener's Gloves, obviously, pretty awful for us as well here. Um, so, but I think we'll be okay. I mean, we got full HP. We're going to apply a lot of bombs, which are helpful here. We're going to apply a lot of poison, which is obviously helpful here. Doesn't really matter the damage that we do here. Uh, poison is going to carry us here in these. Uh, a lot of these bosses and elites and, uh, you know, stuff like that, right? Bombs. Get that poison up. Now we're doubling the poison. Oh my gosh, yeah, we're gonna... <laughs> we are already going to kill him so fast. He's already at 18 poison, right? This is then going to... Uh, that bomb applies one poison, right? Spin, and we're applying three spin infection here. So four spin infection to everybody. Oh, he's the only people alive here. So 23... Now we're going to make that to uh, th uh, 46, 47. Actually, the bombs probably apply first. So 24, now it's 48, 480. And we got protected by a round guard. And we're going to double it again. The bombs may kill, though. Yeah, we may just kill with the bombs. I hope we don't hit another bomb. Oh, rip. We did too good. I wanted to see that poison go off, you know? Um... Signal booster could be good if we were focusing more on the non-crit stuff, but I don't really care about that. So we're going to just stockpile a bunch of our money. <sighs> so I can see now that we fought the dragon, um, how Gift kind of counters that, which does... I do kind of like that because Gift was obviously one of the best, and it is decent that there's a counter now. I think I'm going to take Magnet here. It's going to be bad for going and hitting the crits, but I am scared of the dragon with Gift, and I don't think Gift really helps us. So I'm going to take Magnet, and that does remind me one of the changes in the new update is... Um, also, let's see who we're fighting here. We're fighting a QR code boss, uh, so that's good. Um... But yeah, one of the changes is, you know how like in the past, you know, sometimes I'm, I'm a real dumb dumb and like I'm like I have the magnet or something like that. And then I think like, you know, the little tracker where it tells you like where the orb's going to go. It's, it doesn't feel like it's fully accurate. That was actually one of the um, balance changes uh, is that um, they made it where they're a little bit more accurate with things like magnet um, and uh, stuff like that, you know, and black holes and stuff like that. Like if you can see... I don't know, it's hard to kind of see, but you can almost see that the cursor's kind of taking an account for the magnet or for the black hole a little bit and the magnet. Um, obviously, there's both um, happening right now, so there's a lot to kind of uh, figure out, but it should be a little bit more accurate. Um, and uh, can't complain with that, right? Did you know the dragon boss is a dragon? <laughs> oh, man. Um, okay, so it's just stay, saving all our money to hopefully... Oh, we did... There's an elite on the left here, so, man. But if we want either of the shops, I guess we could get chest, shop, and then a chest there. Because I do want to hit up a shop. We're going to have a lot of money here. And I very, very much uh, want, um, hopefully, to be able to see a little bit more of the, uh, the the relics, right? Very happy that we were able to at least find one and then say hello to the other. Um, going to take a little bit of damage here. But, hey, each of those bombs, there's only one there. Oh, okay. No, I thought these guys couldn't get poisoned. 
You know what I just had an absolute fear of? It feels like poison, nobody is immune to poison in this game. I'm just waiting for an update. When they just start like, oh yeah, this boss, these two enemies, this elite, none of them can be targeted by poison. Like, does anyone else like kind of feel like that's like common? Because like I do feel like poison's relatively strong here, right? Um, also, I think we want to go elite chest shop. Yes, we want to go hard left here. Because like, I don't know, this feels like the one status that actually works as it should. Unlike half the other statuses in this game, right? Um, so we do not want uh, the fireballs here at all. Screw that. So here's our elite. We're going to murder within two seconds, probably. So yeah, because the only problem with smoke mod is, as you saw, like that, that little thing right there is permanently gone, right? Because it created a bomb, you know, every 30 hits, that's just gone, right? That's... We can never, when we refresh that, same with those three bombs, that, that bomb right there, right? So you're effectively taking um, them off the board permanently. The reason I was okay with that here is because um, where that hurts is for long endurance boss fights and elite fights, and poison is already, like, the best thing you could have against that. Um, and uh, so I'm not too, too concerned about, um, you know, kind of ruining the board for myself because the situations in which I would be worrying about that, I don't really need to worry because we have all the great poison stuff, right? Um, so he's going to die after he attacks us once here. Doubling all that. Plus, oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's just, once again, dead from that stuff. So I definitely got to heal. A um, little bit worried about that. Another orb that doesn't matter. Uh, a relic. Um... Whenever ball work is gained, increase the amount by one. So we'll just do hero's backpack. I think we have two cauldron bubbles and we have two double doubles. So it might increase the damage of those like a tiny bit, <laughs> I suppose. Wall, wall obviously can't be blinded, but you can poison a wall. <laughs> There's bad cheese. Um, and then, okay, here we go. 229 to spend. We'll be able to remove an orb and buy just an unbelievable amount of stuff here. Hey, we got a new uh, new relic here. Question mark nodes have a, I think this was actually maybe a relic from an older update that we still haven't seen. Question mark nodes have an increased 7% chance to be a treasure node. Orbit's story. Uh, start each battle with Mercicle. Uh, bombs activate nearby pegs when detonated. We're going to remove the stone. Call it a day. So, hey, we found a new orb I, or a new relic. I don't know. I think that might have been from an older update. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but, hey, we found a new orb. Totally pointless here, most like. No, I wanted to go left. Oh. Actually, no, that's still fine. World, world's not over quite yet here. Um, ah, we got to use a pointless thing here. Hey, but see, here's backpack. Increase the damage. Um, I don't know why that was added, though. But something that's probably pretty good, right? Because getting treasures out of question marks is pretty good, right? Not like the best relic ever, but it is a common relic. So um, it's not going to be the best relic in the game, right? So I think at this point, we pretty much just buy all the healing that we can. I don't think there's any more. Yeah, there's no more shops to be had here. So just buy all the healing. I mean, we have a little bit of healing from well done steak, right? Um, but the fact that we're adding all these bombs and now the bombs, um, you know, with enhanced gunpowder, gonna be pretty helpful here. So just gonna heal up, right? Make sure we don't throw this uh, crucible. I don't really need the gold. I suppose just need to get over there. Got a little. Got got, got more of it than I expected, to be honest. So can't complain about that, right? Um, bombs deal 15 damage. Okay. I like that. And then we obviously want to go to the left uh, for one more chance uh, to find some of these uh, new um, relics here. Collected gold contributes to damage. Now I wish we had kind of taken that five extra gold. We obviously didn't have money for it, but uh, yeah. Do cauldron bubble though. It's just so good. Guaranteed 30, 30, 50, 60 damage over time minimum to all enemies plus the damage that you can get it to do. Don't need to heal there. It's kind of pointless. Um, yeah, and we're just blasting through this here. We really are. We really, really are. Okay. Uh, I hate when we get the two double doubles next to each other at the beginning there. Though, 
now that we have the bombs applying poison, right? I mean, that's that's kind of sick. That's kind of sick that my bombs can apply poison. Like we applied five poison to them, to everyone there. From all this bomb stuff, I really like that. Like you would think that that would be one of the more like underwhelming-ish, not underwhelming, but like not super flashy things. But I mean, you can get a bunch of, you can get a couple other bomb relics. I mean, that in itself, I could see in a bomb build itself, even if you're not playing this character, obviously this, th these relics are only for the round girl and the normal Peglin character, it's not on Baladin. But if you're doing a bomb build, I didn't, I didn't need to heal, but I suppose I didn't need to not heal. Um, but if you like apply poison or if you're doing a bomb build i mean that's just a consistent more damage right i mean that's just good good relic very very simple relic but it's a very appreciated relic uh, for both bomb builds and poison builds mainly more for bo uh, poison builds because oh my gosh did we need more also actually this is just gonna kill i mean we're just doing so much damage here now between the defresh potion between the little bit more merciful damage uh, between now the collected uh, gold contributes to damage you know so we got one elite here and, uh, and then we got the boss fight and that'll uh, call it a day, right? <laughs> um, cauldron bubble perfect here first I mean, Yeah, just all those bombs Cuz like normally I'd be scared on a map like this to like delete all the orbs because you do need to do a lot of damage Right, but the fact that that's you know doing the poison, right? Combined with things like cauldron bubble and stuff like that. We can't see how much poison's on him, but definitely a lot, I'm sure. No way he survives uh, both of these, right? There's no way. He's probably going to die now. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, I'm going to double it if you still don't die. Um, Prime Rod of Frost, Duplication Potion. I don't like that because of the crits. Uh, pumpkin Pie, I think... Yeah, I think I'd rather have Pumpkin Pie versus Prime Rod of Frost. I don't think I'm too... I don't know. Prime Rod of Frost kind of cracked, though. Yeah, we'll take that. That's kind of just good because, especially with this QR code boss, we can hit, you know, two of them versus one on the, um, not on the doubles, but on the, ah, no, don't give me the two double doubles. Now, it can work because actually, look at all the bombs. How many bombs is that? Bam, 12 poison. 12 poison, one of them at 24 poison. They, they just, because of the bombs, started with, tw oh, that was a terrible throw, but once again, doesn't really matter. Because of the way these poison orbs do, they're just applying what they're applying here. So now it's like, can I apply more? Oh, that was another kind of awkward throw here. But look at that. I mean, they're at the 17, 18s, right? And then here's one where I'm going to target that. And I think that'll hit both. That's what I was going to... Hey, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, my gosh. The bombs. The bombs. Oh, my gosh. Oh, they're dead. Those two are. And then I got round guard to protect me here. I'm going to just, you guys ready for the BM? Bam. <laughs> oh, let's go. Let's go. And we have officially beaten Crucible 3 uh, with our Peglin boy here. Uh, and, uh, or not Peglin boy, I guess uh, the, the round drill person. And we found... Uh, two of the new relics. Obviously, we saw the other poison, uh, the grubby hands or whatever it was. Um, but uh, you know what? Very happy to get a poison bomb build right. Um, first, uh, you know, thing of the update. Uh, checking out the uh, the poison bomb build and stuff like that. Um, that's pretty sick. So uh, maybe the next episode, I, I don't know, because we did see some of them. Uh, obviously, we played round drill last time, so maybe next time we go back to Baladin for a little bit and then come back to round drill to find uh, some of the uh, you know poison relics for Peglin and stuff like that. But very happy that we were able to get a poison uh, kind of build for Peglin uh, with the bombs and stuff like that. I think that's a uh, pretty freaking hype, you know. So I um, think this is a good stop point, you know. So if you guys are watching after the fact on YouTube. Make sure you guys subscribe, ring that bell, like all the big boy YouTubers say, to be notified when more Peglin videos come out. If there are some, they'll be on the screen right next to me. And if you guys are going to be grinding out some uh, Peglin on your own, then I wish you guys luck and see you all next time.